Welcome to Guess or Mess, the game show by PragerU Kids. I'm Xavier, and in this show, if you answer a question fast and correctly, you avoid getting totally gross and messy. Joining us today, we've got... Joshua. And... Ali. Before coming here, each of you read our PragerU Kids digital magazine about George P. Mitchell from our website. Now we're going to see how much of it you remember. Here are your messes for today. Volcano surprise. Sewer slime. Hot dogs and condiments. Nacho cheese spray. Toothpaste. Mystery eggs. Clam chowder. Hidden messes. And a pie in the face. Before we play, George P. Mitchell was an American businessman and engineer with a passion for science and the environment. He pioneered an efficient method of fracking, a way to extract natural gas from rock. With this new way of drilling, he made America more prosperous, clean, and energy independent. Mitchell was worth about $2 billion and donated much of his wealth to charity. Are you guys ready to play the game? Yeah! Awesome, the youngest player goes first. Get your hands in the bowl. You're not allowed to take them out for the entire game. If you do, you lose a point. Understood? Yes. Then let's get started. First question is for Ali. George P. Mitchell came from humble beginnings. His father was from Greece and worked as a what? A, goat herd, B, chimney sweep, or C, street peddler? A, goat herd. Correct, goat herd. George P. Mitchell's father, Savas Pavroskovopoulos, was a goat herd from Greece. Savas wanted a better life, so he walked 50 miles to board a ship headed for Ellis Island in New York City. When Savas arrived in the United States, he changed his name to Mike Mitchell, got married, and had four children, including George. Sometimes things here are a hot mess. I think it's time for a volcano surprise. Do you like chemistry class? Uh, not really. Really? Nope. Well, I got an A plus in chemistry. <laughs> Fun fact. Thank you, Mrs. Francis. Have you ever been inside of a volcano before? I don't think so. Well, there's a first for everything here. <laughs> Three, two, one. Uh-oh. There it goes. I think more. What do you think of that? Uh, it feels <laughs> weird. Hey, at least it's not overflowing. It might melt your shoes or something. Next question is for Joshua. Early in his life, Mitchell developed a passion for entrepreneurship. What did he not sell to make money in college? A, candy, B, pens, or C, stationery? B, pens. That is correct, pens. Mitchell raised money by selling candy to his fellow classmates. When students started stealing his candy bars without paying for them, Mitchell found another way to raise money, selling fancy stationery. Soon, he was making $300 a month. Just imagine not having slime on an episode of Guess or Mess. <laughs> Smell. <laughs> Is it? Oh. That smells disgusting. Does it really? <laughs> it's not bad at all, I promise. Ew. Want it in your hair? No, no. Just a little bit? No, no. No? Um, Ew. Okay. So gross. That's not that bad. It's not that bad? No, it is, it is. <laughs> Next question is for Ali. Mitchell served in the Army Corps of Engineers during which war? World War II. That is correct, World War II. After the United States entered World War II in 1941, Mitchell enlisted in the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. He rose to the rank of major and managed various military engineering projects. Look at these little hot dogs. They look really plain though, don't they? I think we should spice it up a notch. This is icky, sticky, smelly, green pickle relish. This is for you. Oh. <laughs> that is so gross. Some nice ketchup for you. Oh, that is a mess. <sighs> and some stinky, disgusting yellow mustard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it sounds like what it smells like. <laughs> and hot dogs. There was like grease in it. Well, maybe this will help. <laughs> I can't breathe through my nose anymore. Then plug your nose. <laughs> oh, I can't wait, plug my can't. nose. <laughs> Next question is for Joshua. 
When Mitchell and his brother Johnny started in the energy industry, they were what? A, wallflowers, B, wildcatters, or C, wildlifers? B, wildcatters. That is correct, wildcatters. After serving in World War II, George Mitchell and his brother Johnny bought a small oil company and worked as wildcatters, people who drill for oil and gas in areas not known for having those resources. This was risky because there was no guarantee they'd find oil or gas, but George had a knack for spotting productive wells. Ali, it is nacho day. We got some nacho cheese spray for you. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Do you like nacho cheese? No, I hate really? cheese. You hate cheese? Unfortunately, you're still going to be covered in it. Ew. <laughs> if only we had some tortilla chips for you. Ew. Ew. Is that enough? Do more. More. No, that's, more. Enough. that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> What's that sound? That means it's time for a Patriot Pop Quiz. Now, you each get a chance to answer a trivia question about America that was not in your George P. Mitchell digital magazine. But there's a twist. You'll be blindfolded for your question and mess. Patriot Pop Quiz question number one goes to Ollie. In which building does Congress meet? A, White House, B, Empire State Building, or C, U.S. Capitol? C, U.S. Capitol. That is correct, U.S. Capitol. Both houses of Congress have met and worked in the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. since 1800. Construction of the Capitol began in 1793 and continued until its iconic dome was completed in 1866. What's our first hidden mess for you, Joshua? Give them pig years. See if they know the pig years. Remember those mealworms we were talking about, buddy? Oh, yes, I do. You're gonna get to know those crickets really well. <laughs> Oh no, they're waking up. They're waking up. <laughs> Ew. So gross. It smells so bad. Really? I can feel a hot dog in there. <laughs> I wonder if crickets eat hot dogs. I guess we'll see. Patriot Pop Quiz question number two goes to Joshua. Which president is famous for being the inspiration for the teddy bear? Yes, I know. Any guesses? Is it Theodore Roosevelt? Correct, Theodore no. Roosevelt. In 1902, President Roosevelt was hunting near Onward, Mississippi and refused to kill a bear that his assistant had tied up, believing it would be unsportsmanlike. A store owner from Brooklyn, New York, soon began selling toy stuffed bears commemorating the incident and named it Teddy's Bear. They were a hit and became known as the Teddy Bear. It comes from a pig. Yes. But it's not the ears. No. It's the eyeballs. <laughs> what does it smell like? That's like relish. Relish? Ew, they don't want to leave the jar. How about you squeeze one? No. Yeah, squeeze one, Ali. No. You sure? Ali, squeeze one. No! <laughs> then let's get those blindfolds off and see what those messes are. Oh, those onions. Yes, they are. Yeah, I know that wasn't pig ass. <laughs> Some rainbow crispies. Eat it. I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> And now back to George P. Mitchell. Next question is for Ollie. Mitchell pioneered a technique to extract oil and gas from rock using liquid. What is this technique called? Fracking. That is correct, fracking. Mitchell pioneered the process of fracking, which involves injecting liquid at high pressure into rocks to extract oil or gas. Many felt that the technique was too expensive and not practical, but Mitchell spent decades perfecting it. In 1998, one of his employees named Nicholas Steinsberger developed a mix of liquid that unlocked unprecedented amounts of gas. Since we don't like bad smells, how about some toothpaste? <laughs> Did you brush your teeth today? Yes. Good. Smile. <laughs> and just kidding. It's for your uh, arms. <laughs> and a little more. See, it's nice and minty at least. At least it smells good. Exactly. It smells good with that ketchup. <laughs> and let's mix it up. <laughs> and now it's gross no, again. No. Just like that. You know we couldn't have things be too pleasant here. <clears throat> and for good measure. <clears throat> That's a weird way to say thank you. Next question is for Joshua. Fracking has helped America become energy blank. A, independent, B, 
dependent, or C, neutral? A, independent. That is correct, independent. Fracking has helped America become more independent with its energy supply, instead of depending on other countries for oil and gas. By 2018, the United States surpassed Russia and Saudi Arabia in oil production for the first time in decades and became the largest global oil and gas producer in the world. Are you ready to have an egg in your hair? No. You positive? Yes, my hair is not a bird nest. It's not a bird nest? <laughs> Can I look like one? You look like a bird nest. Do you think these are real or fake eggs? Fake. Let's see, are these real eggs or are they fake eggs? Any final guesses? Real. Oh, you are lucky. You got the answer right. Ew, that's so gross. Ew, you can still see the egg yolk there. <laughs> what am I gonna do with my hands now? Wipe it on the eggs. Or I can wipe it on you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Next question is for Ollie. What effect did fracking have on the amount of pollution that America generates? A, increased it, B, decreased it, or C, didn't change? B, decreased it. Correct, it decreased it. Because of fracking, America has replaced much of its coal production with gas. Since natural gas burns more cleanly than coal, the United States now creates less pollution. America has become the world leader in reducing carbon pollution. This is one of my favorite messes. Do you like clam chowder? No. <laughs> How do you think it smells? You don't feel like smelling it? I don't no. think the toothpaste is gonna help anymore. Let's see. I mean, it's pretty bad, but there's been worse. I'll be nice, I'll put this directly into your bowl. It looks like rotten Ew. oatmeal. Yeah. Oh. Ew, it flopped all the way to your bowl, Ollie. <laughs> oh. At this point, I want the pie. <laughs> You're going through a lot today. Can I have some more Febreze? Some Febreze? <laughs> Unfortunately, Febreze is not one of the messes. Oh. <laughs> now it's time for the final question, and this is an important one. Whoever gets this one wrong gets a pie in the face. But there's another twist. You must hit your buzzer first in order to answer the question. Make sure you listen to all the answer choices before hitting your buzzer. Understood? Yes. Yes. Then here we go. Final question. Mitchell eventually attained a personal net worth of almost $2 billion. Throughout their lives, he and his wife used their wealth for what? A, building sports stadiums, B, traveling the world, or C, helping the less fortunate? C, helping the less fortunate. That is correct, helping the less fortunate. After Mitchell's company perfected the fracking technique, its profits more than doubled, and his personal worth skyrocketed to almost $2 billion. George and Cynthia Mitchell often used their wealth to help communities and those in need. In 1978, the Mitchells established the Cynthia and George Mitchell Foundation, which has provided more than $400 million in grants to various charities. It's pie time. Do you like whipped cream? Yes. Then let's hook this pie up with some whipped cream. That's enough, right? No, I think more. More? Yep. All right, more. you earned it. Yeah, I think you should cover the whole thing. Actually, you earned the make the demands here, so I'm gonna cover the whole thing. Oh no, it's going crazy. I can't stop. Yes, I can. I just don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> and some nice strawberry syrup for you. This is the most strawberry, strawberry pie I've ever made. And some sprinkles for you. Just a little bit. A little more? No, a little more. Okay, let's do a lot. Let's yeah, just do a lot. A lot, a lot. Does it look good? Kind of. Kind of? What's it missing? Mealworms? No. Yeah, it's yeah, no, missing no, no. mealworms. No. Then let's just keep the pie as is. Can I get a countdown, please? Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> Does it at least taste good? No. No? <laughs> well, you can't satisfy everybody. <laughs> I can feel things dripping onto my shoes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Here's what we learned. George P. Mitchell was a successful American businessman and engineer. He revolutionized the energy industry by perfecting the technique of fracking. Mitchell made America more prosperous, clean, and energy independent. He was worth about $2 billion and donated much of his wealth to charity. The winner of our five-point star and American flag trophy is Ali.
On our flag, red stands for courage, white is for purity, and blue is for justice and perseverance. Our flag is a worldwide symbol for freedom. It belongs to all Americans together as one through our differences. Did you guys have fun today? Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us for being such great sports. Both of you are going home with gifts from our PragerU store. And we hope you learned something too. For more fun, visit us at PragerUKids.com and enjoy all of our digital magazines and shows. Now shake hands. <laughs> and give each other a high five. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.